Alrighty, the caribou slobber is finally complete. Thank goodness, man. All right, I can see why most people don't brew their own beer because it took me a month for this thing to actually be ready. It's finally ready. I kept it in the uh, refrigerator all night long. It's ice cold. It's gonna be a good time. I'm finally going to enjoy it. Now if I can figure out how to use this thing. All right, let's finally crack this open and see what it tastes like. <laughs> oh man. That smells good. <laughs> okay, that is not what I expected. Ooh, ooh. That's nice. Like in the aftertaste, there's a nice warmness to it. That's a very nice flavor. It's definitely more hoppy than I would particularly like, but it's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's uh, it's not like a Guinness. Like a Guinness is more darker, rich, chocolatey, uh, amber kind of taste to it. This one, I would say the happy medium between a dark and a light beer. It's uh, definitely tastes good. I suck at explaining what I'm tasting, I know. <laughs> I would say this beer would be a good, like, uh, like a summer beer. Like if you like dark ales, this would probably be a good dark ale to drink during the summer. It is pretty, not light. It's not light, it's just, uh, what is it? It's not light but it has a, a a floral okay i guess that's what it is so all the the malt and the barley all that stuff that gives us the nice warm uh dark characteristic but all the hot the floral tasting to it it kind of brings all that dark amber stuff into the medium so yeah, you get a nice combination between the dark barley and the malt, and you get that nice floral lightness from the hops. That's probably the best way I can explain this. But, me personally, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a great beer. This tastes amazing, and I'm super freaking happy with it, especially for my first beer and how it turned out. I really enjoy it. The, uh, I guess for me, it's, I would say this is a four out of five. Not to mention, I'm recording this during February and it's freaking raining and cold outside. So, I guess this is not like the seasoned beer that uh, you would drink during the winter. But man, it's good. And my camera's about to die. Lovely. I need to get better at uh, charging my batteries. <laughs> man, that's good though. Northern Brewer, I really appreciate you making this uh, product so that I could enjoy it and share it with you guys. <laughs> Almost said my brother's name. And brother, thank you so much for uh, for giving this to me for Christmas. I really enjoyed it. I loved making it. This was so much fun. <laughs> I'm tickled to death. I had so much time. I had so much fun making this and making these videos and putting them out there and sharing it with you guys. Even though right now there's only like two people. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't give a crap. Man, I'm just happy that I made it. You know? I'm just so happy that I made this. And I'm going to be sharing this with my brother and all that stuff. I'm going to be shipping this out to him, and hopefully he likes it too. And I'll be sending this out to family members and having them try it out. But yeah, this is a nice uh, beer. I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Have a good one.